I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resource Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the sweet birch. Sweet birch, Betula lenta, is also known as black birch and cherry birch. There are 50 to 60 different birch species throughout the northern hemisphere, but only three that attain commercial size, abundance, and quality in North America, the sweet birch, yellow birch, and paper birch. Sweet birch is known, is known for its wintergreen aroma that comes from crushing or tearing the leaves and twigs. It's a medium-sized deciduous tree that typically grows 50 to 80 feet tall and about 12 to 24 inches in diameter. It is a moderately fast-growing species, especially at the sapling stage, and is considered shade intolerant. The oldest known birch was reported to be 368 years old. Sweet birch is primarily a tree of the Northeast that grows down the Appalachian Mountains. It reaches its best development in Tennessee and Kentucky. Sweet birch does best on deep, fertile, moist, well-drained, slightly acidic soils, but is also found on less favorable sites with rocky, shallow soils. In a forested setting, it develops a long, clear trunk and has a rather wide-spreading root system. The leaves of sweet birch are deciduous and alternately arranged on the twig, like you can see in the photo. The simple leaves are ovate or egg-shaped with a pointed tip and a heart-shaped base. They are two to four inches long with pinnately arranged veins. They are dark green above and pale below. Autumn color is an eye-catching yellow and the fall foliage of sweet birch is considered the best fall color among cultivated birches in the Midwest. Sweet birch is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are drooping catkins that are at the end of the twig. They are formed in late summer and early or early autumn and they overwinter on the tree to mature the following spring and as they mature they'll elongate to be about three to four inches long. The female flower is an upright catkin that's only about three fourths inches long and it's on a short spur-like branch. They emerge just before or with the leaves in the spring and they'll open between April and May. The flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is a cone-like aggregate that contains very small two-winged nutlets. It's upright, it's about one, one and a half inches long, hairless and brown when it's ripe. The fruit ripens and breaks apart in late summer to early fall, and the winged nutlets are wind dispersed. Trees begin seed production around 40 years of age, and large seed crops are produced every one to two years. Seeds will germinate the following spring. Sweet birch is also capable of vegetative reproduction through stump sprouts. The bark on young trees is reddish brown to almost black with very prominent horizontal lenticels, and these can be a good characteristic to use for identification. As the tree ages, the bark breaks into large, thin, irregular, scaly plates. The wood of sweet birch is medium heavy to medium hard, and the heartwood tends to be a light reddish brown and the sapwood almost white. The grain is generally straight or slightly wavy. When the wood is exposed to air, it darkens to a color resembling mahogany, and in the past it was used as an inexpensive substitute for the tropical wood. The wood is perishable and, re and will readily rot and decay if exposed to the elements. It's also susceptible to insect attack. Sweet birch is a relatively important wildlife tree. The leaves of the species serve as food for numerous caterpillars, including the American white admiral and the red spotted purple and the cercopia moth. It is occasionally browsed by deer, and a variety of birds are attracted to the sweet birch for the seeds, the caterpillars, and the sap, such as the eastern towhee, chickadee, goldfinch, warblers, and yellow-bellied sapsuckers. The seeds, buds, and catkins are also eaten by a variety of small mammals. Sweet birch wood is similar to yellow birch, and the lumber and veneer of the two are often lumped together. The wood is used for furniture, cabinets, boxes, woodenware, and millwork. And the sap is used to make syrup, but it's stronger in taste than maple syrup. It tastes more like molasses. Birch oil was used commercially as oil of wintergreen, which was made from the sweet birch bark, but its use has declined with the introduction of synthetic products in the 1950s and 60s. The oil is still used for aromatherapy products and candles. There is currently no listed national champion sweet birch. The last national champion or co-champions listed were in New Boston, New Hampshire and Giles, Virginia. The tree in New Hampshire came down in a winter storm in 2018.
The Kentucky Champion Sweet Birch is in Bell County in the Kentucky Ridge State Forest. It is 119 inches in circumference, 118 feet tall with a 67 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about sweet birch. The birch symbolizes truth, new beginnings, and cleansing of the past, so it's a perfect tree to start the new year off. Trees can be tapped in spring and the sap fermented to make birch beer. Small, supple birch twigs are also known as nature's toothbrush due to their pleasing wintergreen taste and smell. Sweet birch was harvested extensively to produce the oil of wintergreen, but since the 1950s and 60s, it has been synthetically produced. Sweet birch is named for the sweet sap and that Native Americans used to make syrup from. The scientific genus named Betula is Latin for pitch or bitum, which can be stilled from the bark, and linta is from the Latin linus, which means pliable, and refers to the supple twigs. Thanks for joining me to learn about this native birch. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, a local park, or a neighborhood, and enjoy the sweet birch.